After more than a year of lockdowns and pandemic enforced isolation, Chicagoans are looking forward to life after COVID-19, but a rise in cases is raising the troubling prospect that tighter restrictions could make a comeback. WGN's Mike Lowe is live in Wrigleyville with a story. Ben and Jackie, good afternoon to both of you. Wrigley Field and Gallagher Way are obviously two of the places where the city has seen the largest public gatherings since the beginning of the pandemic. This is also the location of one of the city's mass vaccination sites. And today, public health officials acknowledge that there is difficulty in trying to balance the desire to return to normal with the reality that the virus is still here and still making people sick. Spring in Chicago, and it feels like the city is coming out of COVID hibernation. Nowhere is that more evident than Wrigleyville. Peanuts, peanuts, peanuts. Where legions of fans have been yearning to live the lyric, take me out with the crowd. Going to the Cubs game, I'm very excited to be out here. I'm a medical student, so it's a nice little break. University of Chicago medical student David Esterquest was wearing a mask along with his jersey. He knows the hard-won reopening of public spaces and events could be rolled back if the COVID-19 statistics keep going in the wrong direction. This is something that we test out to see if it works uh, and, it, and it goes great then perfect but I think it's up to you know public health officials and city of Chicago and the governor to determine you know if, if the numbers do rise to a concerning number that we might have to backtrack. Today, Illinois Department of Public Health officials reported the highest number of new COVID-19 cases since late January. And health officials are also monitoring key statistics like hospitalizations, bed availability, and mortality rates to see if new restrictions are needed. I'm not sure that we would go all the way back to a tier one because remember that we were, we did sort of several mini steps within uh, phase four, which is what we're in now in lockstep with the city where we didn't go completely into a phase four, which is where we are now. For example, 50% capacity in restaurants and bars. Um, we might go to 40% in those situations. You might decrease occupancy in retail. We might decrease the maximum amount in uh, large events. Even with some good news like increased vaccinations, some are voicing frustrations about the limited availability of appointments. It's like, this is not the way it's supposed to be. Meantime, the city of Chicago is also monitoring troubling trends. And then they just started inching up, like we plateaued and it's like, this isn't going the right direction. It's like you're waiting for the day where the numbers really drop and we can, we can move on. Confirmed COVID cases are up 21% from last week. The number of COVID tests conducted is up 9%, and the test positivity rate has jumped from 4 to 5.2% in a week. Seeing that increase in cases in the predominantly white neighborhoods on the north side. Authorities say young people in their 20s and 30s in Lincoln Park and Lakeview are driving the spike, but Mayor Lori Lightfoot has a warning for the entire city. Wear your mask, social distance, <laughs> wash your hands, stay diligent. Um, we are still in this fight for our lives, and we've got to make sure that people don't relax, people don't think that um, the virus is over. You know, we're basically about there, but it's like it's time to get everybody shots and get them fast and get it into the younger population. And as of Tuesday night, there were about 1,700 people in hospitals fighting COVID-19 across the state of Illinois. Those numbers are nowhere near the spikes that we saw last spring and last fall. And it is worth noting that there are still more than 10,000 hospital beds available across the state. Reporting live this afternoon in Wrigleyville, Mike Lowe, WGN News.